Well, it's been about a couple months since I've done a video, and I've been wor working really hard on my website. So today we're going to talk a little bit about um, understanding aging using the paradigm of volume. And we've talked a lot about it through different uh, different models, but I think the glass of water idea is going to be probably the clearest. Um, the idea is we just lose volume as we get older. And it's not a question so much of gravity and wrinkles and folds, but just ongoing volume loss that can be accelerated for, through either a lot of sun, um, some smoking, uh, childbirth actually, um, stress, uh, weight loss. There are a lot of things that can accelerate um, the aging process in the face from a volume perspective more than anything else. So I want you to understand how I conceptualize aging from a glass of water. Okay. So when we're young, our glass of water is very, very, very full. It's in fact what we call baby fat. It's just brimming over with fat full, full, full. In fact, that baby fat persists through our teenage years into our early to mid-20s. As we get into the late 20s, early 30s, we start to lose fat. Actually, to be honest with you, we lose it from here all the way down until we pass on from the world. And so the concept is that a lot of times when women in particular pass about 35 years of age and they reminisce about when they thought they looked the best uh, in, in age, a lot of women don't particularly care to be back into their early 20s or late teenage years because there's a lot of baby fat on the face, even if they weren't fat. And the concept is that if it's a linear loss of fat from the time you're born all the way to the time that you pass on from the earth, and that ongoing volume loss of the of the especially around the eyes and the cheek, that is something that is the principal reason for aging, even in your 30s and in your 40s. And so the concept is when we get to a point, maybe this is too full. But if we get down to there, that could be just right for us. So sometimes there's too much baby fat. And so my goal is when we age the points, let's say it's here, then I refill it up to there. But the, the, t the understanding is that we're a constantly depleting glass of water from top to nothing. And so if you, people always ask, if I do a fat transfer, is that permanent? And the answer is yes and no. And the yes is the fact that if, if you've come down your glass of water to about here and I refill it to there, you're going to just continue to lose a little bit each year as you go back down. You'll always have more water in the, in the glass than before, but that glass of water will continue to deplete in a very slow rate. You know, each year you lose a tiny, tiny bit. And so what I tell my patients as well is as I, as I refill the water, that what my goal with a fat transfer to get it in a point of perspective is that if I can take you, let's take an extreme from down here. Again, maybe you don't like to be up here. It's too full, too big a cheek, too big a chin. I'm not asking you to be you know, 20, but it, the idea, maybe it's 30, 32. And the idea is if I take you from here and I fill you to there, which is an ideal, every year that goes by, you lose a little bit of the water. And it's still permanent because you're always above where you would have been. But if I bring you to here, the goal is to say, look, if you bring, go down a little bit here, go down a little bit here, then I can go ahead and just fill it maybe every two to three years with a little bit so you don't have this dramatic loss and refill. And how do I do that? The way that I do that is using perlane or restylane and just using instead of what I usually use to truly rejuvenate someone and try to match a fat transfer, I just use one syringe instead of four, five, or six to get the rejuvenation through these micro changes that occur over maybe every other year, every three years. My goal is not to come back and do a fat transfer within one to two years, but maybe within seven, eight, nine, ten years later, depending on the amount of aging, and only to do that in the context that if you really want to do that, because once I've created the baseline there, I can come back and just top off the water a little bit with, um, with a little bit of uh, product in the office, and that's a really beautiful thing, so that you, your glass of water never goes like this. Again, you just sort of stay there, and I don't have you dramatically come down. I just sort of keep you there. So hopefully that, that an analogy of the glass of water is a good idea to understand permanence and also to understand aging from a perspective of volume because sometimes the glass of water is just too full, sometimes it's too empty, sometimes just perfect. And using some old photographs is a great way for me to engage, in, engage with you to understand how full your glass of water you would like it to be.